Hello, everybody. Uh, here's a different kind of video. I wanted to mix things up a little bit and also mess around with my new camera that I got here. I, uh, I'm a vapor. I do get e-liquid quite frequently. This is what I vape with right here. The Relo and uh, the UL Crown tank. I have uh, actually a couple tanks that, that, that I use, but this is the one I'm using currently with the nickel coil um, that comes with it. And um, I ran out of, I'm starting to run out of liquid more frequently than I used to. So I knew about a whole bunch of different box services and this is the one I just went with and I just got my box not even an hour ago. So let's take a look at what's inside. The only thing I've done so far was just cut the tape. That's just about it. So let's see here. It's got my name on it. Look at that. That's fancy. So I got my subscription. I got the Majestic Prestige Collection number 79, the Broken Bottle Vape Company Dirty, Dirty Strawberry, Not Candy Red Gummy Fish, and the Vape Kitchen Ube Macapono? I don't even know. That sounds way more fancy than I usually would buy for myself, I will be honest. And I think this is... Trying to do it off camera in case there is something that's personal on it. So we got this thing here. I guess to enter some sort of a sweepstakes thingamajig. We got the guys who worked there. You got the quality assurance card. A signature I cannot make out. Oh, it's been sprinkled with love. Cool. Hey Jack, welcome to Craft Vapory. I hope you enjoy the liquid. Mike. Aw, that's nice. Well, and now let's check out the liquids. Nice packaging. I really like all the padding. I just don't like that they weren't separated in here, given, I mean, they're hard glass. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to do it. Well, actually, maybe I will. But, you know, like, I don't know if you could hear it, but it's jiggling around a whole bunch. And they are hitting each other. But, let's see. This should be the Majestic Prestige Collection, number 79, 9 milligram, 30 milliliter bottle. We got the Dirty Strawberry Broken Bottle Vape Company, which is a 15 milliliter at 12 milligrams. Got the red gummy fish, not candy, 12 milligrams, 30 milliliter bottle. And last but not least, the vape kitchen. Can't pronounce that name. Ube. Maka Puno Pono. Hey guys, I'm white and I can't pronounce things. Uh, and this one's a 12 milligra milligram at 30 milliliters. Very cool. And I guess you got flavor cards. They talked about, I guess. Look at me. I'll put these in the spokes of my bicycle. That's pretty cool. So they have flavor descriptions on them.
And let's see, the Majestic Prestige Collection is a perfect portion, no, perfect potion of epic proportions. This lemon blueberry pound cake will put you in a trance, and that's not all. With a decadent dollop of rich whipped cream on top of it, this is one all-day vape you won't be able to get enough of. Neat. And then this one's the Vape Kitchen Unpronounceable One. A traditional Filipino sweet treat. It's, oh, an ice cream featuring a sweet taro steeped cream, fresh cane sugar, and the warm distinctive addition of fresh coconut, cinnamon, and sweet corn. Interesting. So it's like a, I don't know, like a fried ice cream maybe? I don't know. Cool. And that's everything that's in the box. Next, I'll be checking out the liquids on this tank and my other tank. I want to try the unpronounceable one. what it smells like yeah yeah like a fried ice cream I really like that smell well let me fill this up Sorry about any of the autofocus that's been going on throughout this video. I'm still figuring out my camera and just to get a video out as quickly as possible, it was just easiest to put it in full-time servo autofocus. Maybe I'll do a video talking about my new camera. It's, I love it. It's, it's, I'm still learning the ins and outs of actually having an SLR, a DSLR. I've messed around with cameras bunch in the past but having one for video really is able to speed up things for me instead of having to suffer with uh, a lower quality one like I was where when I was editing I was super critical of the videos as I was working on them and I just didn't want to use them but now everything just is perfect. But yeah, here's the Ube Macapoino. And let's see what it tastes like. And ah, might as well. Here's my settings. We'll focus here. No, you want the center of the frame camera. Like I said, it's the nickel coil. Stop it. Stop the autofocus. Time for you to chill. Okay, let's give it a vape. Take a couple hits. Okay, so I've been vaping on this for a little bit now, and um, I'd like to be able to describe the flavor for you right now. So, here we go. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would taste like. It's um, it's it's a fried ice cream type t 
taste. It's got some vanilla. It's got, uh, let's see how it compares with the way it was described, though. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess a cane sugar it has like a warm, yeah, coconut. Coconut and cinnamon. It tastes like um, uh, keto fuel a little bit in that respect. Um, corn, maybe not so much. I definitely get the ice cream, the warmness of it. Uh, it's good. Not that much throat hit, but that might just be due to the settings that I'm currently vaping at here on the nickel coil temperature control, which is the proper way that you should be using nickel coils. If um, you're vaping without temperature control, you could be um, hitting a point where the nickel might oxidize and bad things could end up happening. Uh, potentially harmful toxic chemicals could come off the coil. Um, and it's just potentially. It's not assured. There's no long-term studies because, you know, vaping is relatively new. So, you know, your mileage may vary. But yeah. The unpronounceable e-liquid that I got from Craft Vapory. I like it. Good taste. I do wish this one had a little bit more throat hit. I like the throat hit quite a bit in uh, stronger liquids. But since moving to these stronger tanks, stronger battery, I, um, I've noticed that the previous strong liquids that I got, like 24 milligram or higher is what I used to get, is something that I don't need to get anymore. I guess uh, more efficient vaporization is what ends up going on. But let's try out another liquid. Take off this tank. And try out this other tank that I have here. This one's the Aspire Polito. And let's see, I got the 0.2 ohm coils that say on it that you should be going from 55 to 70 watts with them. Sure, you know, why not? Fill this up with, it seems like an interesting flavor. You got the dirty strawberry, sounds pretty neat. I think that's this one. Dirty Strawberry from Broken Bottle Vape Company. Okay, let's uh, fill her up. Let's see what it smells like first. Hmm. I guess, I guess a little strawberry, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. There we go. That's filled up. Change it to wattage mode. Let's focus. Uh, right here's the focus. Okay. So now it's in wattage mode. Pump it up. Pump up the jams. Your feet are pumping. I 
what I say this goes to? 55 to 70. Just use it as a slight guide of what it likes. But, I mean, to be honest, I want to be higher in volts right now. But I'll do it at 67 and see what that gets me. And let's try it out. Pops, splatters here and there. Turn it down a little bit. Get on the sixty watts. So I don't think this one came with a card. Yeah, this did not come with a card. So, I guess I'll just read the bottle. I can't I can't read it on the camera. I'll put it on the camera for you right now. But Let's see, where's the description of the flavor? No, no description of the flavor. Okay, so on Craft Vapory's website, the description of the Broken Bottle Vape Company Dirty Strawberry is this. Did somebody tell you that peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are only for kids? If so, I pronounce that person ridiculous. Now you can enjoy your PB&J like the grown-up you are. Go ahead, pair it with a beer. We won't stop you. And primary fl flavor is berries, secondary is nuts. And it's a 30, 70 PG, VG mix. Okay, I've taken maybe a good 10 hits of the dirty strawberry. And it, it tastes like when you go to, uh, let, me, let me taste it again here. Yeah, yeah, it, this is amazing. This is beautiful. It tastes like when you go to a diner and you get maybe some whole wheat bread and you put some strawberry jam on it. I'm getting that kind of taste. The strawberry is amazing. It, it's just like I'm having some fruit in my mouth. It's good. Really impressive with with this one here. And so far, this is at 55 watts at 0.2 ohms. It's getting a little hot. It's a little hot. They give these little, um, with the Spire Kalito, um, like silicon covers that will go over the mouthpiece. Here, let me grab one. So you get these little silicon covers. They fit right over. The top of the the drip tip, kind of struggle them on a little bit. I get caught on the edges, but once it gets all the way on there, you got a little heat barrier for when the coil makes the glass and the tank a little hot to the touch. So I was running on 55. Let's pump it up. Go 69. Let's see what this tastes like. See if this changes the taste a little bit. I 
I think it dulled down the strawberry. And it gave me more of the aftertaste, the, the nut of some sort. I, I guess it's peanut. It tastes like, um, yeah, just straight up peanut. Like um, you just cracked open a peanut and you're chewing on it. Taste, not necessarily a sweet peanut butter, maybe a natural peanut butter, you know, where the oil's all separated. Yeah, it's a good aftertaste. I might like this one the best out of uh, the two so far that I've done here. So, after a couple vapes, I got the dirty strawberry, and I got the, and I'll try to pronounce it again here, the Ube Macapoino. Macapoino? Somebody in the comments, link me to something that has this pronounced, a video, something. But yeah, I did the Ube and the UL Crown with the nickel coil. Very mellow fried ice cream taste. No throat hip. And I did the Dirty Stra Strawberry and the Aspire Kalito 0.2 ohm coil. And I've tried it at all the different watts. And uh, no throat hit, but very pronounced flavor in the dirty strawberry. Very good strawberry flavor. Very sweet. Almost sticky. A sticky taste that just stays in your mouth that's very pleasant. And the last two that I have here is the red gummy fish, not candy, and the majestic. Prestige Collection number 79. And I'll be testing those out. And the next juice I'm going to take a look at is the Majestic number 79 here. And uh, let's see, this is the Lemon Blueberry kind of pound cake flavored one. Okay. So, let me uh, fill this up and uh, I'll give you a live taste review here. I'll just fill this up with a tiny bit, just enough so it won't be a dry hit. Okay. Check my settings, 68 watts, 0.2 ohms. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, the majestic Number 79. I gotta vape out the other liquid that I had in my tank before this. I'll take a couple puffs. starting to taste the blueberry. I 
Let me put a little bit lower. 64 watts. Okay, before. Now, I took a couple days in between recording the first half of this video and this half right here. And I had it in my you will crown right here. And I noticed uh, with the nickel coil that I was getting, I don't know, not a full warm flavor profile. So I wanted to give it a couple days and see what would change. And now I'm using the Aspire Kalito with just a normal uh, dual coil. And uh, I could definitely taste the difference. I, I, I was going to give this a bad review. And I'm glad I sat on it a little bit. Yeah, it's like some some kind of warm cake. Fresh out of the oven. Yeah, blueberry pound cake with a hint of, I guess you could say there's lemon in there. Yeah, if I rolled the vapor around on my tongue on the inhale, I definitely get the lemon ta uh, taste. So, I changed the coil in the UL crown, and now I'm going to take a look at the red gummy fish. I'm expecting some Swedish fish out of this. Not my favorite flavor. I'm not really a sweets person. So... Let me uh, read the flavor description. Sweet, chewy, and bursting with nostalgia. These red gummy fish by Not Candy will take you straight back to the days when you ate the entire bag and still yearned for more. So let's fill up the UL crown right here. Get some of those uh, Swedish fish up in here. Should be enough. And I got I I got rid of the the nickel coil for this test, so I could just have a normal old coil in here. I could put in wattage mode. So let's see how it tastes. Let's see. I'll just start it at fifty five. I forget what. The wattage this uh, coil I put in here likes. Like before, take a couple hits, get that old flavor out of here. Yep, there it is. It's like a warm, obviously it's warm. You're vaping it, and I don't have it on temperature control. So let me put a little bit lower. But I could, I could taste the candiness of it. It's very similar to the other one I vaped out of this uh, box. 
the what is it the dirty strawberry very similar to the dirty strawberry in its uh, sweetness Yeah, they got that. Uh, I don't even know how to quantify it. But like that taste that I re at least remember getting when I used to eat Swedish fish as a kid. That uh, like stays on the, the edges of the outside of your tongue. It's a neat, neat flavor. But would I buy this one? No. Probably like the Dirty Strawberry. I don't think I would buy it on its own. So, those are my quick reviews of my craft vapory box that I got. And remember, it's the only way to vape. Subscribe, shop, and curated flavors from craftvapory.com. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, like, comment, like, like, subscribe. I do more videos, like, I focus mainly on technology and games, but like, I'm gonna start getting these every month. And I already have like two others flavors that I'm going to be trying out here. And those two other flavors are the micro batch called Pank, like, and the Craft Vapory Original. It's toast. Comment. Look for those coming up in a video pretty soon. Subscribe. 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 See you guys later. Later. Heard you later.